Hi. Right now I'm going to talk about why I love Revenge. Revenge is a television show on ABC on Sundays at 9. And it, I just love the, you know, the whole soapy, dramatic element to it. It reminds me of Mallory's place in the original 90210. And um, I just love the campiness and the whole you don't know what's going to happen next factor. You know, I love cliffhangers. I love shocking deaths. I love... I love all those kind of just general soap opera tropes, you know? And so when Revenge started back in 2011, um, I was so excited. I couldn't wait every Wednesday to watch the next episode, the next episode. It became like such a guilty pleasure. And then season two came around and I, I personally liked season two. I mean, I know a lot of people online did not. They thought it lost its way and I agree to a point it did lose its way. That did redeem itself towards the end there. They kind of started to push it back on track, setting it up for obviously this season. But I mean, I'm not such a big nitpicky person that I'm going to whittle it down to its bare bones, you know? I just watch it for enjoyment, really. And then season three, I'm loving it, you know? I totally guessed who the Hamptons killer was going to be. Um, Actually, wait, no, I didn't. I thought it was who I thought it was, but then turned out it wasn't. But. I'm not going to spoil it for you guys. And so, as I had said in my About Me video, I'm an aspiring screenwriter. And so I, loving, you know, the shows like Revenge, wrote my own show. You know, with the soapiness and the, you don't know what's going to happen next, the cliffhangers at the end of each act, you know, the end of the episode. And it's a little more meta, kind of, because I love the kind of meta-ness and, you know, glee this, this year and the most recent years. And Supernatural goes meta at times, too. But, I was, it was about March of 2013, and I was writing the script. And so, I decided to send out a fan mail. And I wrote a nice fan letter to Josh Bowman, who plays Daniel Grayson on Revenge. And, I wrote a two-page paper, you know, not paper paper, but like a two-page letter talk about why I love Revenge, why I think he's a great actor, you know, about my goal of being becoming a screenwriter, and what I do in life, you know. And I said to him in the letter, I said, you know, if, um, you had the time to write back, it would be an honor, you know, to receive something from you, but if not, I completely understand, you know, I know you're acting, you know, you have a busy life, you know, it's not as humdrum as mine, but about three weeks later, I ended up receiving a response back from him in the mail. And the response blew me away because I was just expecting, like, you know, just... Cause I didn't send anything to him. I didn't send any pictures for him to sign, any blank pieces of paper. I just sent my letter. So, I was kind of surprised and honored of what he sent back. Because he sent back to me five pictures. One of him, one of Emily, one of Gabriel Mann one of the entire cast, and then, well, actually two of the entire cast. The first one was one of him, and he wrote on it saying, Sean, keep writing, mate. Keep finding inspiration. And most of all, keep si smiling. And then he signed at the bottom. Right there. Sorry if there's a little hair. It's kind of hard to show. And then, he sent this one. With the whole cast saying, Sean, best wishes from the cast. And they sent one that was, uh, pre-printed of the entire cast signature. A pre-print of Emily Van Camp. And a pre-print of Gabe Man. And then to top that off, he even signed the front of the envelope himself. He filled out my name, my address, and everything, you know, and I appreciated that because, you know, most celebrities probably wouldn't go that into it, you know, and that shows me how good of a person he is, you know. He doesn't let fame get to his head. He still takes the time out to, you know, realize that his fans made him who he is today, and he took the time out to do all of that, plus send it, plus put stamps on it himself and mail it. So, 
I mean, what he wrote to me made me feel great and really pushed me to continue to write, you know? So, as I'm still writing, I always reflect back on that and think, I can do it, I know I can do it, and one day, hopefully, I'll be out there, you know, writing, acting, maybe. I mean, with Asperger's, I don't know if I could be a great actor, but I can do it, you know? Like, like again, don't say you can't do it, you know? Because you never know, you always could. And to just push yourself and try, and that's what I've been doing. And I want to say, in part, it's thanks to Josh Bowman. So, um, yeah, I kind of went off on a tangent there from Wild of Revenge to Josh Bowman, but all in all, I love Revenge.